Today, I'll be teaching you how to create this simple card dragging effect in Godot 4.3. There's two ways to go about this. You can either go physics based or UI based. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the UI way. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions regarding this tutorial. With all that out of the way, let's start. First, you want to create your card scene. Here, I'm using a simple control node and adding a sprite as a child for the visuals. Set up your sprite. Make sure to offset its position to align it with the control node's center. You also want to create a test scene for our playing field. Here, I just use a simple node 2D, add a node 2D child on it as well, name it hand, and this will hold our card. Then, let us add a script for each scene. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on the dragging of the card. So let's go over to our card scene script. We want to connect all these signals to our script. The onGUI input function is emitted every time an input event is triggered inside the controller, including its child. So when we hover our mouse over our card and do an input, this function will run. The mouse enter and exit function is triggered every time our mouse enters or exits our card. Next, we'll add a state variable, which is an integer. This will help us switch between two states, being dragged and not being dragged states. Let's set it to zero initially. Under the function on GUI input, we're gonna check first whether if this card is in dragging state. If it is, we're just gonna return, meaning we don't run the codes below this line. If it's not in dragging state, we're gonna check if we are pressing the left mouse. If we are, then we set the state of this card to 1, which is dragging state. Right after that, let's write the process function. First, we're gonna check if the card state is 1 or in dragging state. If it is, we're gonna set the card's position to our mouse. Make sure to offset it as well so it will drag from the center. We're also gonna be checking here if we release the left mouse. If we do, then the state is set to zero or it just basically means we drop the card. At this point, you can actually add the card scene to the test scene to test. But notice how it doesn't arrange in order. To fix that, we're gonna create this function. The card is focused function takes a bool value. So this basically sets the Z index of our card to 10 if our mouse entered it, and back to 0 when the mouse exits. You can also add the tweening and scaling here for mouse hover effects and etc. But still, there's a problem. To fix it, we need to have a script that checks if we're currently dragging a card or not. You can do this through singleton or in the test scene. You just need to make a boolean variable. In my case, I have a singleton autoload named global. Now to fix the problem, let's go back to process function and set the global to true if the state is 1 and false if the state is 0. Then in the card is focus function at the very first line, we check if a card is being dragged. If so, then we just end the function. Let's run it again. 